Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner! In this video, we will solve polynomial equations. Let us begin! Example number 1, let us solve x cubed plus 4x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0. Our first step, let us find the list of possible roots of this polynomial equation. Let us identify the constant term and the leading coefficient. The constant term is negative 4, it is denoted by p, and the leading coefficient is positive 1, it is denoted by q. Factors of negative 4 are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, and positive negative 4. Factors of 1 we have positive negative 1. To determine the least of possible roots, let us divide each p by each q. Positive negative 1 divided by positive negative 1 equals positive negative 1. Positive negative 2 divided by positive negative 1 equals positive negative 2 and positive negative 4 divided by positive negative 1 equals positive negative 4. And P over Q equals positive negative 1, positive negative 2, and positive negative 4. This is the list of possible roots of x cubed plus 4x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0. Our next step let us use synthetic division. Let us write coefficients of polynomial equation. We have positive 1, positive 4, negative 1, negative 4. And let us try positive 1 as value of x. Let us check if 1 is one of the roots of this polynomial equation. Let us bring down positive 1. 1 times 1 is equal to positive 1. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. 1 times 5 is equal to positive 5. Negative 1 plus 5 is equal to 4. 1 times 4 is equal to positive 4. And negative 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. Since the remainder is equal to 0, it means that 1 is one of the roots of this polynomial equation. Let us find the other roots. On the third row, 4 is the constant term, 5 is the coefficient of the linear term, and 1 is the coefficient of the quadratic term. We have x squared plus 5x plus 4. Let us equate this to 0 and we have quadratic equation. Since this is quadratic equation, we may use factoring, completing the square, or quadratic formula in finding the roots. Let us factor this. In x squared plus 5x plus 4 equals 0, the value of a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to 4. Since a is equal to 1, let us find factors of c, which is 4, when added is equal to b, which is 5. And the factors that we need are 4 and 1, since 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. And the factors of x squared plus 5x plus 4 are x plus 4 and x plus 1. So we have quantity x plus 4 times quantity x plus 1 equals 0. Let us use zero factor property in finding the roots. First, we have x plus 4 equals 0. Let us add negative 4 on both sides of the equation. Since 4 plus negative 4 is equal to 0, then we have x on the left side. On the right side, we have 0 plus negative 4 equals negative 4. Next, we have x plus 1 equals 0. Let us add negative 1 on both sides of the equation. On the left side, we have x 
On the right side, we have negative 1. The roots of x cubed plus 4x squared minus x minus 4 equals 0 are positive 1, negative 1, and negative 4. Example number 2, let us solve 2x raised to 4 plus 7x cubed minus 18x squared minus 13x plus 10 equals 0. Let us find the list of possible roots. The constant term is equal to 10 and the leading coefficient is equal to 2. Factors of 10 are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 5, and positive negative 10. Next, for positive 2, we have positive negative 1 and positive negative 2. Let us divide each p by each q to determine the possible roots. First, let us divide each p by positive negative 1. Positive negative 1 divided by positive negative 1 is equal to positive negative 1. Positive negative 2 divided by positive negative 1 equals positive negative 2. Positive negative 5 divided by positive negative 1 equals positive negative 5. Positive negative 10 divided by positive negative 1 equals positive negative 10. Next, let us divide each p by positive negative 2. Positive negative 1 divided by positive negative 2 equals positive negative 1 over 2. Positive negative 2 divided by positive negative 2 equals positive negative 1. Positive negative 5 divided by positive negative 2 equals positive negative 5 over 2. And lastly, we have positive negative 10 divided by positive negative 2 equals positive negative 5. Let us write P over Q. We have positive negative 1. Positive negative 2, positive negative 5, positive negative 10, positive negative 1 over 2, and positive negative 5 over 2. And this is the list of possible roots. After finding the possible roots, let us use synthetic division. Let us write the coefficients of this polynomial equation. We have positive 2, positive 7, negative 18, negative 13, positive 10. And then, let us try positive 1 if 1 is one of the roots. Let us bring down positive 2. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. 1 times 9 is equal to 9. Negative 18 plus 9 is negative 9. 1 times negative 9 equals negative 9. Negative 13 plus negative 9 equals negative 22. 1 times negative 22 equals negative 22. 10 plus negative 22 is equal to negative 12. Since the remainder is not equal to 0, it means that 1 is not root of this polynomial equation. Next, let us try negative 1. Let us bring down 2. Negative 1 times 2 equals negative 2. 7 plus negative 2 equals positive 5. Negative 1 times 5 equals negative 5. Negative 18 plus negative 5 equals negative 23. Negative 1 times negative 23 equals positive 23. Negative 13 plus 23 equals positive 10. Negative 1 times 10 equals negative 10. 10 plus negative 10 equals 0. Since the remainder is equal to 0, it means that negative 1 is one of the roots of this polynomial equation. On the third row, 10 is the constant term 
Negative 23 is the coefficient of the linear term. 5 is the coefficient of the quadratic term. 2 is coefficient of cubic term. Let us use these coefficients and let us try another root. We have 2, 5, negative 23, and positive 10. Let us try positive 2. Bring down the leading coefficient. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 2 times 9 equals 18. Negative 23 plus 18 equals negative 5. 2 times negative 5 equals negative 10. 10 plus negative 10 equals 0. Since the remainder is equal to 0, it means that 2 is one of the roots. Now that we have three coefficients here, negative 5 is the constant term, 9 is the coefficient of linear term, and 2 is the coefficient of quadratic term. We have 2x squared plus 9x minus 5 equals 0. Let us use a shortcut in finding the roots of this quadratic equation. Let us multiply the values of a and c. We have 2 times negative 5 equals negative 10. And then, let us find factors of negative 10 when added is equal to 9. And the factors that we need are negative 1 and positive 10. Next, let us divide negative 1 and positive 10 by the value of a. We have negative 1 over 2 and we have positive 10 over 2. Negative 1 over 2 is already expressed in lowest term. 10 over 2 is equal to 5. Let us change the sign. Negative 1 over 2 becomes positive 1 over 2. Positive 5 becomes negative 5. And these are the roots. We have negative 1, positive 2, positive 1 over 2, and negative 5. And that is how to solve polynomial equations. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.